Good morning. I don't think Tommy expected a yes when he called a new member and asked if I would do this, but you gotta jump in sometime. Um, the theme this year is interesting to me, largely because of my education and career choices. I like to dwell on headlines and logos and figure out what people are trying to tell you. Because of you, our church changes lives. Like similar slogans, uh, only you can prevent forest fires. Uncle Sam wants you. The intent is to call you out. The message is speaking to you as an individual, but they, aren't they really talking to everybody? Mass communications can be complex. You're meant to read the message and take it personally, but the writer has the job of speaking to everybody. It's hard to imagine that you as an individual are gonna change lives or prevent a forest fire or save a country. The limitations of what someone can accomplish alone are pretty obvious. Lots of people can make a difference, but one person is going to have a limited impact. When you consider the small part you might personally play in a larger initiative, it's really easy to assume that enough other people will take up that cause and you can go find something else to do. I had a much simpler version of this thought process when I was a kid. When I was in elementary school, there were several of us hanging out in the youth room after church was over. My dad had probably f just finished giving a very similar stewardship campaign announcement like we've been hearing from Russ over the last few weeks. And an adult wandered into the youth room probably to check on us and make sure we weren't doing any property destruction. I, he asked us if any of us were gonna pledge anything that year. Now, I grew up in Disciple of Christ churches. I was all but born inside of one. I'd been signing pledge cards and peeling off change for my allowance as far back as I can remember. I did it because that's what I was supposed to do. But as a preacher's kid, my self-imposed purpose at that time in my life was to challenge every adult who asked me a question. The Sunday school teachers loved me. So I blurted out some version of, they don't mean the kids, we don't have a bunch of money, they aren't talking to us. Fortunately for the rest of the audience in the room, the adult was one of those people who spend more time working around the church and with the youth than most people can tolerate. He didn't scoff and leave, he didn't go find my mom or dad and tell them I was running my mouth again. He sat down, he gave us examples of how people can work together to achieve a larger goal. He explained how one person doesn't build a church, but for every person who doesn't help, the job gets a lot harder for the people who are building. He then brought up, coincidentally, a potluck that we'd recently had and asked if we brought anything. I told him I'm sure my mom made something. He asked me how long it would have taken her if she had to do it all by herself and feed everyone. Much to my chagrin, it clicked. Every little bit helps, even my yearly 10 or $20. He very easily could have gone down the road of telling us how much it costs to take us on our youth trips, or feed us donuts in the morning, or the price of fuel in the church camp convoys. Instead, uh, he didn't give us the guilt trip and just nudge us to do our part. He took the approach of showing us that we were part of a whole. We weren't just kids, we were members of something larger. The power of stewardship is not addition, it's multiplication. Everything someone gives, money, time, talent, grows by multiples when there are many working towards the same goal. I've carried this line of thinking with me since, and when I choose to give or participate, I always consider the outcome and the impact. Everyone wants more as a consumer. I want more when I give money, time, or talent. I want my gifts to be multiplied by a group working towards the same goal. So because of you, our church changes lives, is talking to you and me and everybody as a group. As individuals, we are part of a group that have been called to make a difference inside and outside of these walls. And as new members, my family is excited to pledge this year and see the impact that we can be a part of.